A Chinese mercenary fighting for the Russian military has claimed that eight North Koreans in Ukraine officers were killed in action, were killed in action during their first day of deployment, according to the Kyiv Post. The mercenary, who goes by the name Dian Yuzan on social media, made the claim during a live broadcast with another Chinese mercenary who was reportedly returned to China after fighting for Russia in Ukraine. The video was shared by ex user Yu Tuzel. Kiev Post has been able to partially establish Dian Yuzan's identity but cannot verify the claims made in the video. Dian Yuzan claimed in the video that he submitted a list of those killed in action which comprised 153 Chinese nationals on the Luhansk front before mentioning the North Koreans in Ukraine. In the video, he said that despite the preconception of Pyongyang troops being fierce, eight officers were killed in just one day upon joining the war, where he then laughed, presumably at the seemingly poor performance of the North Korean troops. We have North Korean soldiers here. God damn it, they were gone just after entering the war. And people say they are fierce just entered and gone just one day eight people they were even officers dian yuzan said he did not specify the date and location of the alleged incident when asked by the other mercenary if he and his units had issues with deserters dian yuzan said they were shot on sight earlier in the video the other mercenary could be heard discussing his experience in ukraine at 0 0.19 he criticized the poor command of the Russian military and said, Commander's failure is a norm across the different units. He then went on to criticize Russia's lack of compensation for those killed in action. He said in some cases, those who were missing, corpses littered everywhere, bombed to unidentifiable state, were not compensated. As he said, Russia claimed they could not identify the bodies. Recall back in 2022, Russia has made attempts to involve foreign forces in the fighting in Ukraine. When the Russian command began to realize that the war would not be a quick one, but rather the opposite. The high level of casualties even then created a relative problem in terms of the proportion of forces and means needed for defense and offensive. Today, more than 550,000 Russian troops are involved in Ukraine, which is three times more than in 2022 at the beginning of the full-scale invasion. However, during this period, the advance of the Russian military in the offensive slowed down 80 times and losses increased almost 10 times. Four enterprises in Russia were attacked by drones of Ukraine. These are, Lushkovsky and Yefremovsky distilleries in the Tula region, Biochem plant, complex processing of sugar-containing raw materials into different types of alcohol, Russian distilleries produce, in particular, explosives and fuel for military needs. Russian authorities have reported that UAV struck premises belonging to the Russian company Biochem in Russia's Tombov Oblast and an industrial facility in Voronezh Oblast on the night of 21-22 October, and an airport in the city of Nizhny Novgorod, Nizhny Novgorod Oblast, has been closed. An explosion occurred at the premises of JSC Biochem in the town of Raskazovo, presumably after a drone strike. It caused a fire to break out, Maxim Yegorov, the governor of Tombov Oblast said. Yegorov stressed that there were no casualties, the fire was extinguished in an hour, and all the necessary services were on duty. Guzov also claimed that there had been a drone attack on Voronezh Oblast. Air defense and electronic warfare assets and personnel on duty detected and suppressed a UAV in one of the districts of Voronezh Oblast. It fell on the building of a machine hall of an industrial facility, Alexander Guzov, the governor of Voronezh Oblast said. Guzov also stated that there were no casualties, but there was a small fire on one floor of the building. As of 7 o'clock, fire crews are working at the scene. Guzov added that the risk of a drone attack in the region remains. TASS, citing the Federal Air Transport Agency of Russia, reported that the Nizhny Novgorod airport had been temporarily closed, presumably due to the threat of a Ukrainian drone attack. A little earlier, Russian telegram channels reported that the airport had introduced the Kovir plan, 
meaning that it was closed and planes were being diverted to other airports. Biochem's website shows that the company produces various types of alcohol, fusel oil, liquid carbon dioxide and barda molasses organic fertilizer.